My friends, what is up? And welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chris, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how identity is at the core foundation of how you experience life. Let's go. So, what does it mean that your identity is at the core foundation of how you experience life? This is how it works. The way that you see yourself is the way that you approach yourself and things and people in life. That determines your experiences. For me personally, back when I was in middle school and high school, I was living in what I like to call social survival. I didn't feel the best about myself and so therefore I was looking outside of myself. I was looking externally for things and people to fulfill me on behalf of so many different aspects of my life. And because of that, I was living from a place of lack. So I was attracting based on that. When we don't feel good about ourselves, we attract based on that. When we feel fantastic about ourselves, we attract based on that. This all goes back to personality. And to bring Joe Dispenza, Dr. Joe Dispenza, somebody that I look up to who's in the field of neuroscience, who's bridging the gap between science and spirituality, he talks about how our personality creates our personal reality. And the way that this works is very simple. The way that you are as a person will create what you experience. This all comes down to identity. The way that you see yourself is the way that you put yourself out there with yourself as well as other people. And that is what brings experiences into your life. How you are as a person dictates what you experience in life. It's that simple. So, how can you use this piece of information to help you move forward with a productive life? Here's how. Understand that your personality, just like your intelligence, is not fixed. And, like I said before, what Joe Dispenza said, your personality creates your personal reality. Because your personality is not fixed, you can change how you are as a person and therefore experience life differently based on that. You get to design that for yourself consciously. And the crazy thing about all of this is that many of us had parents growing up that when we went out in public with them and they were around their friends, they would introduce us to their friends and they would say things about us, things maybe, you know, regarding to us being shy or being being, you know, anxious or whatever it is, and these ideas of us would be instilled in our minds, and then they would control our behavior because when we're that young, we're soaking up everything. And the way that that works is that it literally conditions us into believing that that is the way that we are, that that is who we are. And then as we grow with that, that idea stays with us and that affects how we experience life altogether. The number one thing here that affects personality and personality affecting the way that you experience life altogether is idea. It's literally that simple. It all comes down to idea. Ideas that are placed in your mind that affect the way that you see yourself, the way that you see life, the way that you see people. It's going to affect the way that you interact with yourself and things and people and the way that you experience life altogether. So when you can come to the point of realizing that these these are just ideas and you can challenge them, that affects your ability to alter the way that you see yourself in a positive way, obviously, and the way that you approach things and people, which then changes the course of everything for you in a very conscious way. But you have to become aware of these things in order for it to change. My friends, thank you so much for taking the time to stop in to watch this video. Take care.